Today's tutorial is DaVinci Resolve. And what we're going to do is show you how to take a long video and chop it up. So at work, we had this, this four hour video and our, our LMS, our learning management system only allowed one hour segments. So what we're going to do is chop that into four pieces. So this tutorial shows you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and start a new project here and we'll just call it chunks. Okay. So first thing we do, we need some media. We're going to go file. We're going to go import and we're going to go to media. And on my desktop, I have this Shenmue clip. This is very short, but it'll be perfect for our example. Um, and it'll ask me, do I want to change it to match the timeline to this video? And I'll say yes. But if you don't, you can say don't. And it'll keep the settings of your actual video project. Okay, let's hit change. All right. So now for me, the only three tabs I use in DaVinci is media here, edit here, and actually deliver here, which is, you know, exporting. So I don't care about anything else in between. I use importing, editing, and exporting basically. So let's go ahead and go to our editing tab. And what we're going to do is make this a little bigger. I'm going to grab my clip here, drag it into the timeline. Okay. So what we're going to do is chop this up and just imagining it's super long and we're going to make it into four pieces here. So we'll use our blade tool and we'll chop it here, here and here. Okay. Then I'm going to click on my pointer here and now we're going to, we're done. If we don't need to edit, we just need to make four separate video clips. We're going to jump to our, our delivery or our export. And the key here is this little drop down right here, this render, and we want to render in and out ranges. So what that's going to do is actually give us the ability to um, use an I key on the keyboard, I, or an O key. So I'll do I, and then here I'll do O. So you see now, let me move this away, we have that range, which we can now control as well. Okay, so we have it exactly where we want it. And now this little piece right here can become part one. So we'll do crunch part one, one of four. Okay. And we'll pick the desktop. Let me just make it the desktop here and we'll hit save and everything else. If we, if it's the way we like it, actually, let me change that to MP4 and H.264. That's cool. Everything else I really don't care about. So we're going to add that to the rendering queue right here. Okay. Now we already have these here, so we can either drag them or we could actually, you know, use our mouse and do the I key and the O key. So I usually just drag them since I already have it there. So now this one, we're actually going to call part two of four. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that to the queue. So now we have two. And let's rinse and repeat here. We'll go to the next one. And you can kind of see what we're, we're doing here. Let me move that to there. Okay. Now we'll do part three or four. And we'll add that to the rendering queue. And last but not least, let me use the I and the O. I. And we'll go down to the end. We'll hit O. So now that last chunk there is part four of four. And we'll add that to the rendering queue. So now, let me make this a little smaller for there. Now we have four clips. If we hit render, it'll do one. But if we hold our shift key, or if we lasso everything like that, you know, you can go shift and then hold down at the bottom, or you can just use your mouse or your trackpad and just lasso everything and hit render all. And what Resolve is gonna do is just gonna go through all of these clips and render them all as separate pieces. So now your one long clip is into four individual videos that in my example, we can upload to our learning management system, or you can do YouTube, or you could throw chunks of it to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want them. Okay. So that's basically the gist of it here. And luckily that my video was very, very short. So I'm going to show you actually where my clips are. And they're on my other desktop, the screen, I'm on my main laptop screen. And you'll notice here on my desktop that I have my crunch part one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's it. That's how you do, um, I guess they call it batch exporting. I just call it, you know, 
taking one video, making it many parts. So, you know, just simple. And I guess that's it for the tutorial. Okay, I want to thank everybody for watching as usual. Peace and aloha. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.